I'll still be winning I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me Hey guys, welcome back to the channel you know who it is. It's Miss Angel Baby, and I'm back with another video. I'm back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about royalty, CJ, and Nike, the whole situation, royalty, her response video, what she had to say. Please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Huh? Eh? Yes. I definitely want to be giving y'all my opinion on that whole situation. But before we get started... Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, join the family, hit the notification bell too. So anytime I drop a video, y'all gonna be notified, period. Okay, y'all, so before we get started, I'm just gonna go ahead and give my little disclaimer. Basically, anything in this video is alleged. Anything other than that is strictly my thought, opinion, and or perception. Okay, so let's just start off with royalties video. First thing I noticed was the fact that she had her twins blurred out. So I'm guessing nobody's going to see him, you know what I'm saying? And CJ's not going to see him in person, and he's definitely not going to be able to see him through camera. That's the perception that I got. However, so Royalty, you know, she was heated or whatever, and she basically said, you know, this was the fade that was just needed to happen. This is long overdue. Um, it doesn't matter who won, who lost. The fact of the matter is, is they just had to get it out their system. That's just something people say when they get beat up. <laughs> Royalty did address the fact that she did have her kids there at the little fight. So, but she did say that the twins were not there. And when Nike did her little video, she did not say the twins were there. She said it was Leon and Jalea that was there. You know, they were there. They were crying um, and stuff like that. But yeah, so I'm believing that, you know, CJ, he's not telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? And that really doesn't surprise me because according to CJ, now he wants custody of the twins. You know what I'm saying? So it's all convenient for him. CJ even came out and said that CPS came knocking at his door, which to me is really odd because if there's no children living in your house, why would CPS come knocking at your door? If they want to investigate something, they would just go to royalty because she's the one who has the kids. So in my opinion, I feel like CJ was probably either capping on that or CJ called him out to file a report on royalty. But anyway, royalty's excuse was basically there's dysfunction in everybody's home, dysfunctional families. Um, There's just nobody's house is perfect. In my opinion, it's not dysfunctional families, dysfunctional parenting. And I, oh, but you know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. Anyways, royalty, she stood on it. She was basically like, yeah, I did it. Let me deal with the consequences. I know what I got come knocking at my door. Um, so we're just going to have to see how this works out for Charlene. You know what I'm saying? She's got this. She doesn't need people antagonizing it. I don't see how she can say that when she literally put a fight video on line, had her kids recording it. Kids say they weren't your kids because they were like, get her mama, get her mama. <laughs> <laughs> and then you don't want people's opinion you call it people antagonizing you that right there is just so crazy to me it's delusional it's delusional it's like you want to sit here and post all this crazy wacky stuff stuff that no parent like no good parent in their mind would ever do this period and then you don't want people's opinion. Okay. Um, ciao. Anyway, so. So royalty made it very clear that she is completely done. She wants nothing more to do with CJ. And she also elaborated on the situation to where she said she's the one who left CJ. She left basically with the clothes on her back. And she didn't want anything. So that's basically her admitting that she didn't want anything. She said that CJ isn't doing anything for her and CJ hasn't gave her anything. However, CJ did say that he did pay the kids for being on the videos. The videos are still up. 
So I'm guessing CJ is going to have to go through a little fight situation with these videos. CJ basically is also saying because royalty wants the videos to come down, that she's been hating on him the whole entire time. Really, nigga? Allegedly. I've been hearing a lot of stuff in these YouTube streets about CJ. Um, royalty basically just put a thread on him. It was just like, tread lightly. You're messing with me and you're messing with my kids. Remember, CJ, I know what you did last year. Ha! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> and I'm thinking, what the hell did he do last year? Only a couple of things that I can really think of. One of the things, maybe he paintballed his own house and tried to blame it on Funny Mike. Another thing that I really, really hope she's not talking about is the situation with the dog. Because immediately, I'm going to tell you guys, immediately when I seen that situation with CJ's dog that was unalived and he was taking video of that dog, it didn't, it didn't feel right. Like, in my spirit, it didn't feel right. And Tata said, didn't you tell me that you unalived your dog and then you went online and you did it for views? You know what I'm saying? So pretty soon we're going to find out, you know what I'm saying? We're going to find out everything that CJ has been up to and everything that he's been trying to hide one way or another. It's also been alleged that CJ doesn't even own his YouTube channel. He doesn't own the rights to his YouTube channel. So allegedly he put his YouTube channel on the market and he's supposed to pay such amount of money every month, you know what I'm saying, to keep him from going broke. So royalty, she basically put it out there, y'all. This is about views and this is about money. Basically, it's looking real suspicious over there, CJ. Now she been with CJ for nine years, y'all. Almost 10 years. Y'all don't think that she knows CJ. Y'all don't think that she has a pretty good idea of what's going on and what CJ's been doing. Like, I mean, come on now. You've been with somebody for that long and you've been living with them for that long? You pretty much know. And I kind of feel like, in a way, royalty is still sparing him because she still could have came out and said, you know what I'm saying, what it was that CJ did last year. You know what I mean? So either, I'm thinking one or two things, she's either still protecting him or maybe she's entangled in some of the stuff, too. It might make her look bad, too. Whatever she's got over CJ's head. So Rosie just flat out came out and said, CJ, you're putting everybody's life in danger. Y'all, I'm pretty sure the police is just watching all these damn videos, taking notes. You know what I'm saying? Like, the police is not stupid. They know exactly what's going on. You know what I'm saying? It's not like this is the first time they probably came into a situation like this. This is their job to investigate, to know, to watch, to look. So royalty says she is not doing no drugs. She could take a drug test any day of the week. You know what I'm saying? So I just, only thing that I was thinking is what did he do last year? What did CG do last year, royalty? Like, you can't just tell us that and then not tell us what he did. <laughs> <laughs> like, what did he do? But... I'm pretty sure we're probably on the right track. You know what I'm saying? She she didn't open up Pandora's box. Or should I say CJ doesn't open up Pandora's box. But CJ, he just get online and he just runs his mouth and runs his mouth. Then he sits there and says that the detective came to his house, y'all, and told him to quit running his mouth. Because if he keeps doing it, then basically the perpetrators are going to know exactly what's going on step by step. So it's really funny that CJ, he's not too smart when I think about it. Because he goes and says that the detective tells him not to say things and then proceeds to tell us exactly what it is that they spoke about that he wasn't supposed to tell him. Who the hell does that? And not just that, CJ, he's upset. Because if you don't agree with him, then you are a troll. So if you question him, you're a troll. Is CJ going to have the audacity to put on Instagram that he hopes every troll goes through this? Why would you wish something like this on anybody? That's just evil. To basically say you hope other people go through this, that is just so evil. So maybe that's why CJ's having so much bad luck. But anyway, so Nike came out and she did a video. 
Nike's basically just basically saying that she wanted to fight. And royalty basically edited to make it look like she won. So if she was on top of Nike, she would say, hurry up, mama, hurry up, take a video. Come on, come on, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Nike said the only reason why royalty was even able to get on top of her anyway was because her mama pushed her off of royalty. And that's when royalty got on top of her. Nike said it was at that moment that Lexi kicked Royalty's mom in the stomach, but of course Royalty's mama said no, she didn't. So basically, she kicked her way. Okay, so either she kicked her or she didn't, whatever. She kicked her way. Royalty's mama allegedly picked up some rocks, started chunking them at um, Lexi. That's some stuff like from back in the day, chunking rocks at people. But that's why Lexi started running. So yeah, I understand too. I would have either started chucking them damn rocks back or I would have started running too. But when she ran to the car, she tried to get back out. So I'm thinking maybe she was going to the car to go get mace or something. Maybe. Because Nike did say that Lexi had a whole plan for when she went back to the car. And one of the things was to bang her mom in the face and knock her dentures out. And I, oh, That was one of the things, but. So, yeah, and then, of course, with um, Royalty's daughter that Royalty should have been protecting and had out there, Lexi did what she was supposed to do. So, in my last video, when I was saying Lexi was scary and she was running, I wasn't talking about from a child. Of course, you get away from that child. In my opinion, I feel like Royalty was trying to put somebody in jail. Like, what is you doing? What the hell is you doing? If anything would have happened to any of her children, though, not only would either Nike or Lexi or whoever did it would have been in trouble, but royalty would have been equally as charged, whether she knows it or not. So anyways, that's just that. So I just feel like at the end of the day, now, right now, CJ's trying to work on getting those kids because he knows that he's going to need those twins to keep that channel afloat, to live that life that he's used to living. The luxury lifestyle, because he already knows that when royalty and those kids left, those views went down. So CJ, you know what I'm saying? He's going to do whatever he can do, even if it's saying, you know, that royalty brought the kids. And that's the reason why I told you guys, always got to say allegedly in videos. And when I did say that, I said allegedly, because people like CJ... Not just that, speaking of people like CJ, there's some kid running around on the internet talking about he's the one who popped CJ, him and his little friend. He looks like he's about 12 or something. He says he's friends with Julia or something. Then he's first he says royalty told him to do it. Then he says Lexi paid him. Then he comes out with this whole little rap song. By the way, I did hear that rap song. And it was all right. Like, it wasn't bad. It was all right. Like, I was like, these people was crazy. I mean, like, they is really trying. They is really trying. But anyway, I really want to know what y'all think about the whole situation. Um, We just going to have to just wait, see what happens next. As far as CPS coming to Miss Charlene, I really want to see, like, what's going to happen with that situation. Of course, like, I don't want to see your kids get removed or whatever. But she needs a wake up call because it's like, yeah, she did this whole situation, but it's like, she doesn't feel like she just feels like, yeah, like, yeah, I did it. And like, but you know, those are her kids. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I really want to know y'all thought and opinion. Thank you for watching until next time. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, 